Just got home from work and look what got delivered. My new ramps. I've been messing with that little trifold five footer trying to put my lawn mower and everything in the back of the truck and I was like man enough of this let me get some new ones so I looked over the internet and I saw companies American made made in USA that uh, were three times expensive as this and couldn't the weight rating wasn't as good as this this these supposedly can hold 3,000 pounds not that I'd ever put 3,000 pounds on it but for a third of the cost like this whole set right here cost me 500 bucks delivered. It was like $509 delivered. And it got here within four days. Three, oh yeah, four days from discount ramps online. These are the Black Widow UTV, ATV, four beam. And you can see each one supposedly weighs, I don't know, about 50 pounds a piece, which seems kind of heavy, doesn't it? Golly, 50 pounds for each one. And they, they're fold, they're arched. But we're going to open it up, see what it looks like. And then I'm going to put it on the back of the truck and try to compare the angle from the old one to the new one and show you what this looks like. Well, my initial impression of them are pretty good. They are pretty heavy, I'll tell you that. They're heavy. The paint looks good. One thing I like, this is one, one of the reasons I was looking at these, is the space between these horizontal bars. It's like three and a half inches, three and a half inches from bar, center of bar to center of bar. So, the front wheels on the mower or smaller wheels don't go blonk, go blonk, go blonk. It gets stuck between the rungs. So that's good. And like I said, it does fold. And at the folding length here, we're talking, shoot. 54 and a half inches long when it's folded. pretty nice yikes let me back you up so you can see this whole thing here I'm playing around I got like nine feet I got nine feet it ain't nine and a half it's nine feet so the hinge looks pretty good on it the welds are okay i was worried about when this folds and opens up what it's going to look like but uh, like what holds it from snapping down but it seems to be okay each each one comes with its own strap there this is the part that would go up onto your truck right here and then this of course would be the part that sits on the ground so you can roll on these rungs. All right, check it out. Here's the old ramps. Now this, it's pretty lightweight compared to the other ones. And let's see, well, it's, it's a little bit more than five foot with those hooks on there. But the spacing, man, look at this rung spacing on it. That's why I had such a hard time with the lawnmowers because the little front caster wheel would fall down in between here and from inside to inside. So that's seven inches of a gap compared to what I say, three and a half on the other one. God, believe. so just that alone, my front wheel not getting stuck in those rungs is, is going to make it a smoother ride going up. But what's the height on these? So I was trying to get up into my truck here. Got my little baby... So 60 inches. So this is 60 inches. And one of the reasons I want it with the folding ones is this. So if you're 
if you're somewhere, I don't know, a department store, if you're out riding or doing some work and you unload your equipment, what do you do with your ramps? You, you throw them in the back of your truck and then someone steals them on it. You have to lock a cable on them. So I wanted something that could possibly fit inside the back of the truck. And I don't think these ones even fit because those hooks on the end were so long. Yeah. So right there, that's 60 inches. That's hanging out just a little bit. It's hanging out like three inches. I hope those other ones can fit inside here. And look right here. Let's see if you can see this. See this big hit right here? That's from the deck, the deck of the mower trying to get up and catching and hitting on that stuff. All right, I can tell you right now that this thing is double the weight of the old one. Those that, Now this is aluminum too. This is made out of aluminum, but geez, this thing is heavy. And look, China, China ain't messing around. See that? Made in China. We're making sure you suckers know that they're making. Let's see if this fits in here. right there with room to spare so i could throw both of those inside the truck and then leave lock it up and i don't have to worry about somebody walking off with my ramps so that's a plus all right let's set something up here so there's my tailgate look how high up that is get a measurement on that so my tailgate is 38 inches off the ground, 38 inches high. Oh man. Look at the difference. Is that crazy or what? Man. And that arch is, is perfect. But look at... No more of this. Look how beat, beat up this is. This whole ramp. All the way down. From me hitting and scraping with the deck of the mowers. Trying to get up. I mean, that is steep. I don't know. Anybody want some tri-folds? Look at the difference. And this is pretty wide. Did I tell you how wide that is? Of course, now I don't have the full length across the tailgate to load something anymore, but heck, man, 17 and a half inches across. And what was one of these? 16 and a half. So I kept the front wheels on that, on each one of those. The middle I never even used, so 16 and a half, 17 and a half. But look at that. Man. All right, let's try to load it. I'll bring up the little lawn mower. Let's try to load something.
All right, so here's what I just found out so far about hooking these up. I used the little loops there for the trailer hitch receiver. That's where I hook it in. And they give you regular ratchet straps, which are kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, you could cinch them down tight, but having to ratchet strap something up was kind of a pain. You have to get it as I had it over here at first, but that angle going towards the middle of the truck, the whole the whole ramp could just slide over. So you want to get it as straight to the middle, wherever you're hooking up as possible, unless you clip it underneath from here, underneath the edge of your bumper, maybe from so it doesn't move. So it's kind of straight. I'm looking at the instructions here and they're saying to loop it around the middle bar. And here they have it underneath the bumper or some hook on your on your truck but it's not a ratchet strap what they're showing you is these kind which i actually i actually like these they're just they're just real quick you put them on and then you just you just pull that to tighten them having to set up a ratchet strap and clamp, clamp it down is kind of a pain but see how they can still move so i'm guessing Connecting it to the receiver hitch, which I, which I normally do, probably isn't a good idea. So now I'm thinking I'm going to have to go from the middle here to the bumper so it doesn't move because it still wants to move to the center of the truck. See? Because of that angle. So let's rehook these up to the, to the, to the bumper. All right, I just changed it. So I put the hook in the middle and I put the ratchet strap underneath the bumper there for each one. So the straps are kind of straight in, straight, straight from the ramp to the bumper. And I clamped them and now, well, barely, it doesn't, I guess I could clamp it really hard, but it's not moving. I just gotta get used to doing it like this. I mean, this isn't too bad, hooking it on the bumper. I'll have to break my habit of using the hitch, the little hoops in it, safety hoops on that hitch. But it's good because now I don't have to crawl my hands and knees and get under my ramp and crawl up to there. I can just reach right from the outside of the truck here and hook it onto the bumper. So that's pretty good. All right, let's, uh, let's see if this mower can get on here. Now, trying to load it up with that, you saw that the stinking, just the bumper was hitting already. Like I couldn't even make it up the old ramp to get to this point here where it was so steep where it would, would just rub and just get stuck. I couldn't even make it up there because normally I never use the driveway. I always have to go in the back of the house back there where the driveway drops off. There's a hill there. I'd have to drive my truck into the yard to get the truck to drop down so that wouldn't even happen. Or I'd have to go across the street there to the farm field back my truck up to the farm field put the ramp drive up into the farm field and then drive across onto the ramp so i i could with this ramp on this truck i could never even use a flat ground to do it let's see if it'll work with this one Wow, that was something. 
it went right up there and I was purposely going slow and put, then put on the handles to see if this little bit of, like on each rod here, there's some traction and it's not smooth just to see if it would spin wheels or lose grip go, going up and it didn't. It made it over, the arch worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna recommend arched ramps. And then right here, this was the most, this is the best part right here, this flatness. There's no, you're not gonna hit the edge of your, your tailgate going up to come up here. Like this is, this is worth it right here. And if you notice what I did is I backed up, I came down, I stopped halfway and reversed it. And you could see the front caster wheels on the mower can spin and reverse direction to go back up, reverse direction to come back down. So that this, this gap right here is perfect. That's what you need. To be able to go forward and back and letting those front wheels spin and not get stuck in a hole, that's huge. That, that's huge. I like that this, look, I already scratched it up from dragging it on the ground here. These suckers are heavy, man. Did I say that they were heavy? They are heavy, but a couple pluses. They fit inside your truck. So when you go out riding or do whatever you do, you can put your ramps inside your truck and lock them up. This length is just enough on solid ground. If you have a 3500 or you guys with even like a 2500 or 3500, 2500 standard. I mean, it's just stock. There's no lift on it besides the stock height. If they do make, like I said, they make 11 footers, which would even smooth out this angle even more. Well, it wouldn't. I guess if you had a higher truck, it'd be the same. But I wasn't sure if the 11 footers folded would fit inside the truck. So that's why I went with these because I figured this got to be enough. If I was doing it with them before, Oh man, this is this is a game changer for me. So much easier. But I'll tell you else with the, what else with this. From me scratching this and the deck hitting and all, this is so sharp. There's so many sharp. Like I actually get metal splinters when I grab when I when I hold this thing. I mean, not even on the ends. Like even on some of the other rails where the deck will scrape on it or something or. Like that metal right there, it's so thin and cheap. It's 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 aluminum, but it's so soft that it really it, it cracks apart pretty easy and you get splinters. This seems to be pretty good. Now, like I said, it's rated for 3,000 pounds. And I was gonna try to <laughs> I was gonna try to drive the car up there to see if it would hold it, but then I said, hold on a second. These might be rated for 3,000 pounds, but your tailgate isn't. So I'd have to take the tailgate off and put the ramps onto the bed itself and uh, drive up and see if they snap. But I mean, look at the welds on them. They look pretty good. I mean, they're welded on there, just on one side. It's not welded on both sides, just one side. But it's like this side, then this side, then this side, then this side. So it's not going to bow on you. It'd be nice if this side rail here, instead of being flush, if that was up like two inches or something, so your wheel would hit it and not let you fall off. It'd be nice if the the two sides were, were up higher like this to keep you on there. It'd be heavier, but it would definitely be safer. So here we go. Let me show you what they are. The Black Widow, made in China. I got them from Discount Ramps, and they were here within four days. They gave me a 15% off because I had it in the shopping cart, and I let it sit in there for a day or two, and then they sent me an email saying, hey, you forgot something in your cart. Here's 15% off. So I was like, bam. So definitely do that. Don't buy it right away. Get your discount. I just looked it up. I just looked up on my uh, order form. So they are nine foot. So it's nine feet long by 17 and a half wide, and they're calling them four beam. So one, two, three, four beam bifold arched ramps. And like I said, I got them for I think it was like five hundred and nine dollars.